Welcome back to Economics. Uh, today's talk is on what I call GDP calculations. I actually like to give out problems that are uh, based on this sort of thing. Last time we talked about nominal GDP and real GDP. Real GDP adjusts nominal GDP for price changes. But we talked about an economy with only one good. I want to show you a, on a spreadsheet what it looks like if we're doing, if we have two goods. And then you can sort of imagine what it's like when you have lots and lots of goods and services, what this process of calculating looks like. So here's the spreadsheet. And we're, the two goods in this economy are hot dogs and hamburgers. And we have two years I'm going to talk about. There's the base year, and that's the year where uh, all the prices are considered the standard prices. That's the base that we measure from. The current year is the year that we're trying to calculate adjust nominal GDP for price changes. So in the base year Nominal GDP and real GDP are the same by definition. The nominal sales of hot dogs are the same as the real sales of hot dogs by definition. <coughs> nominal sales of hamburgers are the same as real sales by definition. So the base year we set nominal and real equal and then we track price changes in order to adjust the current year sales uh, for price changes to get to real. And that's what I'm going to kind of walk through in this spreadsheet. So we track, first of all, sales of hot dogs and hamburgers in millions of dollars. These are millions of current dollars. So back in the base year, we sold a million dollars worth of hot dogs, two million dollars worth of hamburgers. In the current year, the 2009 year, we sold 1.3 million of hot dogs and 2.4 million of hamburgers. But prices increased between the base year and the current year, so we don't know exactly how much, if at all, the real sales increased. So let's first track the prices. So these will be given. So the price of hot dogs was a dollar a hot dog in 2005, a dollar twenty in 2009 and the price of hamburgers was two dollars in 2005 and two dollars and sixty cents in 2009 and now we can calculate the real the real sales that's what, our next step is to calculate the real sales of hot dogs and hamburgers and for the base year that's back here the, the lower number the real sales are always going to turn out to be the same as the nominal, but we'll use our, our formula, which is to take the nominal sales, multiply it by the price in the base year, and then divide it by the price in the current year. But if we're in 2005, the current year is the same as the base year. And so we end up multiplying by 1 over 1. With the hamburgers, we take the sales, multiply by 2, but then divide by 2, so we end up with the same thing as re the same real amount as nominal. When we move up to calculating the real sales of hot dogs, we are multiplying the current dollar sales times the price of hot dogs in the base year and then dividing by the price in the current year. Now the price has changed so this makes a difference. It means that the real sales of hot dogs are lower than the nominal sales. That's because there's been inflation and so we want to adjust for that inflation. We just want to count the real sales of hot dogs. We do a similar adjustment for the sales of hamburgers. 
Now, in these, this column, we can add up nominal GDP. That's the sale in current dollars. So that's adding up the 1.3 plus the 2.4 million to get 3.7 million. For the real GDP, we add up the two real numbers. So real hot dog sales were $1.08, real hamburger sales $1.85, real GDP is $2. 2.93 million dollars. So it's in the same dimension as as the nominal GDP. So we have so re, nominal GDP was 3.70 million, real GDP is 2.93 million. Note that nominal GDP in the current year is above real GDP in the current year. Or sorry, above nominal GDP in the base year. Nominal GDP in the current year is above nominal GDP in the base year. But real GDP in the current year is below real GDP in the base year. So we actually, in some physical sense, sold less hamburgers and hot dogs. Actually, we sold more hot dogs, but fewer hamburgers in real terms. And finally, this last column is the GDP deflator. It's like a weighted average of all the price changes or a weighted average of inflation. So the GDP deflator in the current year is 1.26. In the base year, it's always going to be 1.00, by, kind of by definition. So it's the, the average prices in the economy are 26% higher. Real GDP is slightly lower. And nominal GDP is, is higher. So that's kind of the, all the message of that chart. So next time... What I want to talk about is the growth calculations. How do we calculate growth rates from one year to the next? How much did nominal GDP grow? How much did real GDP fall? How much did inflation? How much did prices rise? So that's the um, that's what we we'll want to go over next time is calculating the GDP calculations. I want to go back to the blackboard and remind you of the important things. Okay, the important formula is that the real sales of a of a good are equal to the in a, in the current year are equal to the nominal sales times the ratio of the price in the base year to the price in the current year. So if pr the price has increased in the current year from the base year, we use that to drive down the sales number, to adjust downward the sales number to get real sales. So that's an important point. And another important point is that what we're calling the deflator which is an overall measure of prices of prices in the economy that's equal to nominal GDP over real GDP okay and again next time we'll talk about calculating growth rates see you next time